when there's something strange in your time travels. Who are you going to call? The Time Variance Authority! Well, the TVA is going to be our major point of contact based on the Loki trailer, no doubt about that. But who are they exactly? What is their mission? And what exactly do they want with our favorite god of mischief? When an organization exists outside of time as it is normally experienced, it makes it pretty easy to be secretive. So it's time to blow the cover off these clock cops and peek under the hood at some of the secrets of the Time Variance Authority. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. When your secret society works outside of time and space itself, it helps to have a little pocket of stable reality to put your base of operations in. The TVA has just that. The Null Time Zone is known to house more than a few interesting features. Such sites include things like the Time Departure Gate, a useful hub for the comings and goings of the TVA. The uh, Department of Redundancy Department, something noted to be needing an update by Mobius M. Mobius himself. And the Hall of Discontinued Universes, a place for the universes that are deemed too dysfunctional, where they can be ejected out into nothingness. And this isn't even breaking into the ever-expanding Hall of Chronometry, which we'll be delved into a bit more later. Due to the nature of Loki's current status as a prisoner of the TVA, we may be seeing a bit more of the Time Courts and the Time Cells. The courts are pretty nondescript, but the cells have the interesting feature of imprisoning those inside in an infinite minor loop. These are, of course, for the most dangerous of offenders, but Loki's pretty up there in regards to Marvel villains, so who knows? A bit of a time loop before the office building tour? We'll see. But it should be known, for a bureaucratic headquarters, there is certainly a lot to see at the TVA home base. The heads of the TVA are a one-man army in the sense that they are all the same person, if that makes any sense. So all of the management positions of the TVA are held by clones of Mark Grunewald, including Mobius M. Mobius, as played by Owen Wilson in the upcoming series. All of them. This makes things easier for the Time Variance Authority, as it keeps them all on the same page and in agreement of how things should be run. All the same person, all the same opinion. A real sleek system. So, uh, who is Mark Grunewald? Well, he was a writer for Marvel for many years, and this sneaky inclusion was a bit of a joke and a tribute to him. Mr. Grunewald is unfortunately no longer with us, but his legacy lives on in the many managerial sectors of the TVA. All those who work for the TVA are there for life, and more often than not, their lives begin there as well. That is certainly true for the Chrono Monitors. These faceless beings are created to monitor their assigned reality, being created with the birth of a new timeline. All this watching takes place in the Hall of Chronometry, an infinite space. Ever expanding and likely a horrible place to get lost in. The life of the Chrono Monitor might sound boring, but they are made for this, so I'm sure it's fine. This reality gave them life. Watching it happen is the least they can do, I guess. There are more people within the TVA than the Chrono Monitors and the many Mark Grunewalds. The Timekeepers are incredibly powerful entities that were created by the final leader of the TVA right before the heat death of the universe. The first batch ended up becoming evil beings called the Time Twisters, but in the reality in which they were destroyed, the next version called the Time Keepers were then made. Though they may not seem too dangerous due to their name, they are not to be trifled with. They can age beings into dust, or reverse their aging to a zygote. They can travel through realities, create force fields, and grant powers to others. These powers fuel the struggle between the good and evil counterparts as they try and eradicate each other from the multiverse. They also do aid in overseeing the realities and ensuring things are running smoothly. But the constant struggle between themselves and their evil other-dimensional brethren really does take up a large amount of time, even if their time is infinite. Outsourcing labor is sometimes the best choice, so not every member of the TVA is born there. This shouldn't come as too much of a surprise due to Loki's new position with them. Unlike Loki, though, the bounty hunter Justice Peace is a willingly outsourced employee by the Time Variance Authority. Originally a member of the Special Services Federal Police in the future city-state of Brooklynopolis, Justice Peace had worked alongside Thor and had had a hand in the apprehension of the Fantastic Four and She-Hulk. Justice Peace is also noteworthy due to his status as a parody creation being a fun spin on the character of Judge Dredd. Whether he'll show up in the new series is up for debate, but if he does arrive, it would be interesting to see how this humorless authority deals with the God of Lies. 
When you think of people working to preserve the timeline and working towards the greater good, Shut it! Wade Wilson is not the first name that comes to mind, but it's true. Wade Wilson of Earth-616 was recruited by the Time Variance Authority. Under the new alias of Loop, this former Deadpool attacked himself, who he found traveling through time with Cable. Later on, his identity would be revealed, and the Deadpool from the past would then also be hired on. So he's basically a self-fulfilling prophecy in that regard. Aside from a pretty slick new suit and a time-traveling harness, Wade also gets some fancy weapons in the form of the Frisbees of Chronal Calamity and the Flaming Scimitar of Temporal cleavage. Some pretty cool gear courtesy of the TVA. Hey, if Loki can work for the TVA, why not Deadpool? So how does one get to and around an infinite space headquarters located outside of time itself? Well, a train, of course. It's a railway called the Cross Time Central Express Railway. It's this big train that runs right through the area that's been used by other heroes before, the Fantastic Four most notably. Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman once commandeered one of the many trains owned by the TVA in order to escape the organization, having it driven by a being named Casey. This railway connects to the previously mentioned Time Departure Gate, and there's a hangar filled with a few different trains. The vehicle travels by racing through the time stream, though it can end up lost in the void of space and time if the wrong measures are taken. Not the best way of getting around, and certainly not a standard transport mode for the casual time traveler or commuter. Just take the bus. At least then you won't end up in another reality by mistake. More of a fun bit of trivia than anything else, and something that may or may not make an appearance in the Loki series, but the employees of the Time Variance Authority seem to have a bit of a unique language amongst them. Now this may stem from being all the same person and sharing a sense of humor, but no matter the cause, they have invented their own collection of swear words to be used around the offices of the TVA. And why not have their own office sanctioned profanity? Issues of both the Fantastic Four and Thor have given us words like flarg and cragget. Fun new words to add to your everyday lives. Hey, give it a shot. In the upcoming series, Loki seems to be the current prisoner of the TVA, but it's not just villains that get under the skin of the Time Authority, many heroes have as well. The Fantastic Four, for starters, has gone up against the likes of Mobius and Mobius after poking their nose into some time bubbles that they were not wanted in. Iron Man, aka Arno Stark, a Stark hailing from another Earth, has also been up against the Authority. The X-Men and the Avengers have had run-ins, though the most severe may have been She-Hulk. She-Hulk attempted to save the life of Hawkeye with some time travel shenanigans and a letter that informed him of his possible doom. This interference was considered a big no-no by the higher-ups at the TVA, and she was put on trial for her meddling. She did eventually come out on top, but they did find her guilty and meant to eradicate her entirely. Uh, note to self, do not meddle with the timeline. Or if you do, do not get caught. So the TVA has opposed a great many people before, but how do these monitors uphold time law against those who would meddle in their affairs? Well, the retroactive canon is one way. The canon uses anti-temporal rays in order to unravel the target through time, effectively eradicating them from existence entirely. The weapon is used to carry out harsh penalties, She-Hulk being one of those condemned to face the cannon, but she was saved due to her assistance against the villain Clockwise, who gained control of this weapon. The retroactive cannon is a fun little joke for the comic's writers as well, the name being shortened to the Retcan, a, a clear nod to the term retcon, as in the rewriting of canonical history and ignoring previous versions of in-world events whenever it's deemed necessary for a piece of fiction. It's a, a joke and a death ray, all in one. What more could you want? The Loki series will certainly give us a closer look into the TVA and their activities, but for now, we can only speculate what this super secret organization has in store for us. Till then, stay curious, question everything, and use your time wisely. Bye for now!